Okay, today we're going to be entering in patient data. Now, sometimes a patient will come in and do demographics, or, yet, I'm sorry, you have to do a pre-registration. So the patient may be coming in next week for a test, and to save time, you can enter in a lot of the demographic information. If the patient's there, you can go into your interview. It'll save a lot of time. If you have a face sheet, which just has the patient's information, like address and everything, you can enter that in and go through the detailed information later. So if we wanted to enter just patient demographics, right there, and we'd go in and enter in all the information, just demographics. If you notice here, this is hazed out. It's sort of... Uh, a little bit faded, that means it is not active. So we would just go in, take out the last person, and enter their ID number, enter their name, first name, gender, date of birth, which will, age will be calculated, their race, arm span, if you're using arm span, their actual height, and their actual weight. Also the room, and physician, and the technician performing the test. Also, you come up to the left-hand corner, and it's not quite visible, so a little twist. Just above where the care fusion is, here, and you click, and it pops up the address. And that's your address. To save it, you hit F3. To save anything on this machine, it's always F3. Diagnosis, you have your asthma, they will pull down menus, or you can free text in there. Medication, all the meds, there, or, again, free text. Uh, patient IDs, don't have to do too much with that. That would be more hospital specific. Uh, symptoms, what are, they symptom what are they showing? What are they complaining of? You need to go through every one of these, especially for lab. It will be very good practice. So as you click on one, we go through cough and you just read off the questions. Symptoms, go to dyspnea, and you read off the questions. Smoking, go through the questions. Occupation exposure, again, you can always free text. And anything else that is pertinent, typically we don't mess with that much over there. Then to save it, you hit F3, and that'll save all the new information underneath that patient. Escape, I'm going to discard those settings because you don't want to save it. So now, the patients come in, and you want to do the PFT on them now. So how do you find the patient? The patient comes in for the test. You want to do new study. Now, who are we going to call up? Okay, I hit in KI. You don't have to type in the patient's full name. As, the pa as your department gets more and more patients, you may want to do a combination of about three letters of their first last name and three letters of their first name. Typically, that combination will narrow down all the search results close enough for you to get to the patient. But I know that this one doesn't have that many, so KI, I'm going to, if you hover over the buttons... As you can see, it'll say, I'm down here on F1. You can see it in the lower left-hand corner. Find previous study. And there it is, KIN. So we know that this patient has had at least this many studies. The first one was on 914 of 16. The last one was 1201 of 16. Search by patient's file. Retrieve patient data, F3. There's the data. And yes, I know this patient very well. So that is my patient. And then what we're going to do is store results and exit. So now I've saved up the results. Now if you look in the top part of your screen up here, you'll see Ken Kel T. That means your patient is now loaded. That is the patient that's going to be going, that you're going with. And you can click on any of these and it will go with like your pulmonary function. You're going to be doing all the pulmonary functions on Ken Kelty. But all we're doing today is 
data entry. So let's see if we wanted to call up the data on another patient and not do a new study, because right now Ken Kelty has a brand new study. What we can do is we can find patient. Let's go with Al. Again, 9-1 through 12-7. Search above, retrieve. Demographics only is the F2. Retrieve patient data. There we go. And now Alma is our patient. And we have called them up. So we have called up that patient. Alma. Nope, wrong one. Let's escape out of there. So we have now retreat. It's okay to make mistakes, like I just clicked on the wrong button. That's not going to count against because we all click wrong buttons every now and then. So if we wanted to look at the reports on Alma, Al Ma, here's his ID, FVC. There we go. Find patient, edit PFT interpretation, generate patient work list. So, what we did is we can actually go back and look at the previous data. And whatever name is up here is the patient that you're going to be calling up. Okay, so. We're going to exit out of here and we're back to our main screen. So if you want to find a patient to look up their old data, you want to find a patient. If you just want to enter demographics and not enter a study, then you just go up patient demographics. If you want to enter the demographics or to check the demographics, but if the patient's coming in for a new study, you need to go under new study. That is data entry and that is how you enter the data for your patient.